Hello everyone. I wanted to come on here and do a quick process video. Um, it's a design team project for Denise at A Tattered Dream. I'm using a couple of her um, tags and I wanted to show you guys how I was going to use them um, in a journal that I'm making, which is a design team project for Tina. So um, a lot of them will be going running together because I use a lot of Denise's products in all my journals. So um, I'm working on a Prima Ballerina journal and I wanted to um, alter these two tags. So I thought I would just turn the camera on and show you guys what I'm gonna do. Maybe give you some ideas or just refresh your memory if you've made them before. But I am gonna use some of this um, pattern paper for like sewing and I'm just gonna cut a chunk of this off which I should have done probably before I turned the camera on but I was just excited about doing this video. I have been struggling again with headaches and um, as some of you know that I have chronic headaches every day but um, they've turned into migraines and when they're migraines I really just can't function. So um, today I woke up with just a regular headache, took some medicine, I feel really good and so I wanted to come in here and do some crafting and a couple videos. So I just kind of jumped right into this. So it's hard to tell what all I'll have to do before it's over with. But I'm just gonna kind of look at this paper and see what I want. Um, it really doesn't matter, but I just want it to show that it is like the pattern paper um, from the, not pattern paper, the sewing, the sewing pattern is what I'm trying to say. Um, I've got caffeine in me, so guys, I'm sorry. I'm a little hyper right now, but you know, I wanted to be able to function today. So I'm just gonna cut this off so it's easier to work with. Um, I love using this. I love the background it gives um, and it, the sheerness of it. And so what I do, I'm just gonna cut this here so it's easier. And I know that's not a straight cut or nothing, don't care about that is I just lay it right on top. With something this thin, like napkins, tissue paper, things like that, you don't actually have to put a coat down on the bottom. Um, you can just literally go from the top and work down because it's gonna soak right through. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna start in the middle and work my way out. Um, I was teaching my mom to decoupage this weekend and my son's fiance and they had a lot of fun. I didn't realize that my mom didn't know how to decoupage. So she will enjoy this video. I know that this is not um, an advanced video, but uh, I did want to show you how I was decorating this tag. I love this as a background. I just think it's so pretty. And um, you can make your own Mod Podge, um, of course Mod Podge is just the brand name. Um, it's what I'm using here, which says Mod Podge. And this is the mat. The actual, um, the process is called decoupage. So you're decoupaging onto whatever. I started decoupaging um, when I was a older teenager onto vases, vases and things around the house. Um, so then I went into like paper crafts and stuff. So I started um, at a younger age. What am I doing? I guess on top. And I just, I love the process. It is so freeing and you know, it's easy. So there is the top of this one. And I'm not gonna do the other one right now because of time, which I should have brought my hair dryer in here. So I'm gonna pause this, guys, and I will be back. I wanna go dry this, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I went and just dried this real quick with my hair dryer. I don't have a heat tool, um, so I just dried it really quick. And I'm sorry about my nails, my lens. Um, I had red nail polish on, and it was getting all over all of my ephemera and my pages, so I had to take that off, and now my nails look horrible because they've got red everywhere, but I didn't have time to just sit and do my nails before I started crafting, so I'm sorry. Can't. I try to work around my tripod as usual, so forgive me if I'm like right in your own space. Okay, so when, I should have left it, but when you decoupage, it'll kind of curl up. Just take it and fold it 
or curl it, I guess, the opposite way, and then it lays flat, okay? If you do not know that. Um, and I'm just speaking to those that maybe do not know this. Um, I'm thinking mainly of my mother that has just gone into crafting again, which I'm so excited. She's so excited to learn um, journaling and how to make journals. She wants to make her own journals. Um, and I'm really excited about that. So um, I've been helping her build her stash from uh, some of my things. I like this the way this is. Isn't that pretty? And here is the difference. So I like that. Okay, now I am going to use my Distress Oxide, which is tea dye, because that is the color that I'm used, or I have used on the entire kit. Um, Prima Ballerina, I think I said that, from Tina's shop. Um, I wanted to make a really girly, shabby chic journal before I got into my fall collection, which I'm getting ready to start. So this is the last journal that I would be putting out if it is not fall related for a little while. Um, I wanna get my fall collection out. So I have two different pieces that I have chosen um, because I am doing two tags, but right now I'm just gonna do one. Um, so I have this one here with a bunch of ballerinas, which is really pretty, and then this piece of ephemera. And so either one of those can go, let's do them right now. They are really, really, really pretty. So um, there's a couple different things. Of course, I wanna put, um, I'm talking ahead of myself. I want to put some of this lace, I think, through the top here um, as my tag topper, and I might use some eyelash trim. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see about that. And I do know I want to put that there. Um, I'm wanting to put, and this is just something that I thought of. I don't know how it's going to work. I've not made any like this. Of course, I mean, it's just like any other pieces of ephemera that you make. Um, I wonder if it would look good if I had, um, I don't think I like that on the back of it, or if I cut it out maybe. I could sew around this with the, um, lace and then trim around it to put there, because what I want to do is I want to put this piece of ephemera here. And then I have these flowers here that I want to put at the bottom with a button um, like that. And then, of course, this will be at the top. Of course, I can't. I don't have enough hands, guys. Um, you know, is the topper. I think that'll be really pretty. I'm wondering if I should use this lace. You know. I just happened to see that lace sitting there and thought, oh, that's pretty. I think what I'll do is, of course, I'd have to sew around it. Um, I know some of you are saying yes, some of you are saying no. That's, that's just the way it is. Um, well, let's see. Let me get my sewing machine out. I don't know if the sewing machine is going to be in a in, uh, frame or not. I wasn't planning on sewing, but I could pause the video, I guess. I am definitely not a seamstress, so um, I just learned to sew last year, and I just learned the basics. My mom showed me how, and then she just up and left me. I've told that in a video before, and she's like, oh, you can do this. <laughs> I was like, okay. But I'm just going to sew it directly onto the, um, the lace here, and I don't think you can see, but it doesn't matter, you know how, so, um, it's just going to be a sloppy going around the pattern, or the design, the way I've got to cut it out, this is a zigzag stitch, because that's what I like to use, because that's not the main purpose, or the focal point of this, is not the sewing back stitch, and then, then. And like I said, it's not going to be perfect, and that's fine. So let me see if I can cut this and have some of it. So I just want some of it sticking out. Um, and we'll see if we like it. If not, I can always cut it off. So that's not, oops, no big deal. I think that's just enough. 
I think it is actually pretty. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. I just added a little something. It wasn't too much, I think. Okay, so I want to get my, I'm gonna use my three-in-one glue for this. And I'm sorry, I can't put my glue on around the tripod. So I hope everybody is doing well. I need to do my giveaway video this week. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting. You guys gotta remind me. I think I'm gonna put it down. Well, no, maybe I should put it up there a little bit because of my flower. I want my flower kind of close. And, you know, the, um, the Distress Oxide, the tea dye is not very dark. So if you wanted something darker, you can barely see it. Um, you know, that's just your choice. Um, I just used it because that's what I've used throughout the whole um, journal. So I think that is really, really pretty. And then I want to put a flower down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna use my three-in-one again. Just put a little dab right there on frame. And just make sure that's on there. And which that, these buttons are so thick, but they're pretty. I'm gonna put this button on top. I am so far behind on watching videos. Um, I've got to catch up on some of my peeps that I am behind on. I know Yvonne's got a bunch of videos out that I've not watched yet. My lens, that girl can pump out the videos. I can't keep up with her. Okay, so there is the way that looks. And then I'm gonna add my topper, which I don't know if I just want this or less, and you know, I fight with fibers, I fight with them, but I want to try to use some, and I have some of uh, Denise's right here somewhere that I've already pulled out. This is the light pink, the baby pink. Um, let's see. I think that would be pretty if I added it I know it's kind of the same color, but that's the point. I don't want something, um, let me see. I don't want, I don't even know if I can get that in like that. I might have to do it the opposite. Is it front or back? No, I don't remember. I fight with fibers. I don't know what the problem is, that I can't get fibers to look good, but I have come up with a new way of using them that um, I sew them on the page, and I really like that, um, which I'm going to be doing one in this journal, actually. I've already got the tickets because they came out in the collection. And what is that? Hold on. It's not pulling through. I'm right in y'all's face. Sorry, guys. Maybe. Now, why does that look so small? That was a big piece of lace. See what I mean? I can't do it. Like, why can I not? <laughs> why can I not do it? I guess I cut it too short, the lace. But actually, it looks cute. I don't know how that happened, but it actually looks cute. Um, so I'm going to leave it. Let's see. Do I want to trim any? Maybe just a little. I like the... Of course, anybody that gets one of my journals, you know, if the strings are too long or anything, just... You know, trim them down. I like that, actually. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's cute. I think the problem was, uh, you know, I only had it like that because I was going to just attach it at the top like that. And so because it was shorter, it didn't. It come through fine on this side, which I don't know if you can see how long it is, but then the, this side is short. But I think that's cute. So there is that one. And I could do another one, but I would have to stop and dry my, dry my uh, tag. But isn't that cute? Um, that's just an idea for you guys um, in one way of decorating a tag. 
Um, I really want something else, but I don't know what. And I'll, if I'm not careful, I'll overdo it. I'll over embellish. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make some more. And then I'll just probably show you um, in the journal how I made them. But at least this gives you guys an idea of one way to decorate with just using your sewing pattern paper, which I love the vintage look of that. And it's sheer and you get the pattern on the back. Um, I just think that's really cool. And it doesn't weigh down your tag. It doesn't warp it, nothing. I know what I forgot to do, guys. I meant to sew. Uh, I meant to sew around this and then put the flower. That's why I'm like, something's missing. And I don't know if I can get the flower off. Darn it. Okay, so the next time, I will definitely do that because I did not sew around this one. Oh. Let me see if I can get that flower off there. Because it is the three-in-one, so it's not set yet, I don't think. Okay, I got it off there. See, you get to see mistakes and all with me. I don't, uh, I'm not going to edit my stuff. So let me just sew this real quick. This is going to show you the difference that sewing does. Um, why I started sewing to begin with was because of this just the effect of the junk journal that it gives and I can barely see what I'm doing so <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to see around this long tripod so this might be crooked but I just think it adds so much I hope that is not too loud for you guys um Yeah, because my mom tried to get me to sew for years, and I was like, nope, not doing it. Don't want no part of it. Like, this machine intimidated me, and uh, I just wouldn't do it. She's like, oh, you can do everything else. You can do this, because I embroidered and crocheted. I crocheted at, like, 10 years old. My mom taught me to crochet, and I've just been a very crafty person my whole life. I love arts and crafts, period, um, but I wouldn't go near this machine, and... She came over one day and showed me, and I just took off. And she was like, I told you. And, yeah, she told me, and I love it. And now um, I want to learn how to do um, fabric. And I know some of you are probably like, what? Well, sewing paper is easy to me. Fabric is a different story. Fabric to fabric is harder. Fabric moves so much different than paper does. So yeah, it is a big difference. Okay, blocking the light. Okay, there is the sewing, which is probably not perfect because, you know, I was trying to work around a tripod, but that's what it looks like on the back, which I love to see that. And because I had this, I couldn't go all the way across the top, so I just stopped, um, as you can see. But there it is, and I like the pink. Some people do like to use like brown or different colors, and that's fun too. I think that's really pretty. I'm just a very pastel pink, shabby chic kind of girl. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this flower back on here so you can see the finished project. And hopefully you guys, this will inspire you to make some. I think it'd be really pretty if you actually hand stitched through the button and put it on the card instead of just gluing it down there. Uh, that would be pretty too. So there it is. So yes, go grab you some layaway cards or inventory cards or tags, I should say, from Denise's shop and start, opt, start altering them. You can use all different kinds of things. If you don't have the sewing paper, um, the pattern paper, you can use even tissue paper. I have some tissue paper here and I'm actually gonna put in my journal. So there's all different kinds of things that you can do. And if you guys are interested in any more ideas for tags or decoupage, just let me know below and I will see what I can do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you very soon. Bye.